On a wet Wednesday evening, Dulwich Hamlet hosted FC Assyria, a team four rungs below them in the league system, in a match to raise money for refugees affected by the humanitarian crisis in Syria. The rain had once again threatened to postpone the match, with the game having been cancelled the previous Wednesday due to a waterlogged pitch, but this time, thanks to the work of the ground staff, we were all set for kickoff. Before the evening's proceedings commenced, I caught up with Michael Walker, a lifelong Dulwich fan and employee of Unison, one of the match's main sponsors, to ask about his relationship to the club and about the great work it's doing. Uh, I've supported Dulwich since 1974, when I first came. Um, so in those days there were quite a few less people here. Uh, and it's grown into a real community club in recent years. When I first came it was very old fashioned, it was living very much on its golden years which were in the 30s mainly but also through to the 40s and 50s but it was looking always looking backwards and it had a big stadium that could uh, 20,000 people uh, could attend. So. It's a lot, it's fallen on bad times, but it's, it's managed through the hard work of those who stayed loyal to the club through those hard days. And, uh, and they've built the community and the old and new fans are working well together. About three years ago, uh, there seemed to be a big shift. The style of football that they were playing on the pitch and I think the community that was growing up around it had changed as well demographically and I think that lent itself to building the club. But I think actually interacting on things like playing uh, games for FC, Assyria, etc. are you know, an important step forward in that. Stonewall, yes, I was here for that. And again, uh, I work for Unison and we're proud to be supporting that as well because it's important, you know, statement, it's interesting that FC... Uh, Stonewall are now playing uh, Man United um, and we did it over a year ago you know we're just glad that these premiership clubs are catching up with us. Here. The match proceeds were to be donated to the British Red Cross Syrian Appeal and the Southwark Refugee Communities Forum with both providing support for victims of the Syrian crisis giving charity on an international and local level. Fans were also encouraged to bring food donations with an ever-growing mountain forming throughout the night. The idea for the match was the brainchild of Southwark councillor Jasmine Ali, who contacted Dulwich Hamlet, having already witnessed the club's willingness to promote different social causes, including the friendly match against Stonewall FC, Britain's first gay football team. This match had managed to draw a crowd of 338, more than many Ryman Premier Division weekend fixtures host, something which really highlights the draw of Dulwich and their willingness to turn out in force for a good cause, just as they did for the Stonewall game. The match itself saw a young Dulwich side take on a hard-working FC Assyria, a team created in the 1960s to help promote the cause of the Assyrian people who, throughout history, have been suppressed by different nations and regimes. Many Assyrians are today being violently targeted by ISIS for their Christian beliefs. Supportive messages rang out through the speaker system as both sides lined up before kickoff, with Dulwich fans clapping enthusiastically throughout. The game started off quickly. And on the 15th minute mark, a fine shot from around the penalty box saw Rhys Morel Williamson give Dulwich an early lead. The game started to slow towards the 25 minute mark, with Dulwich edging FC Assyria in terms of possession and chances created. But just before the half an hour mark, an unexpected lob by Assyria's Andrew Isaacs saw the guests unexpectedly draw level, bringing one of the biggest cheers of the night. With just minutes remaining of the first half, Jordan Clark fired home from his first of the evening from short distance to put Dulwich back in the driving seat going into the final 45. As both sides came out for the second half, it seemed that Dulwich had a game on their hands, with their opposition from four tiers below them putting up a spirited fight. However, this optimism was quickly crushed as Jordan Clark scored a blink and you'll miss its second goal just 30 seconds into the second half. The tempo of the game stayed fierce, especially for a friendly but neither side could find a net, and so it ended 3-1, with the fans seemingly pleased to have seen their young talent given some crucial experience, and a good charitable cause being promoted. Whatever cause they pick to help next, there is no doubt that the fans will be there in full voice, cheering not only for themselves, but for the opposition.